This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Don Roger with me. You're the Executive Director of the Seniors Community Service, uh, Services in Kempfall and you're opened up again. Yay! I know, I know. I, first I should say we're taping on March 8th. It's International Women's Day. Thank you for joining me and uh, I'd love to be able to share this day with, with women like you. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I feel the same. Thank you, thank you. So March 7th, you opened your doors again. Yes, we, uh, we went back to full, we returned to full capacity this week. Uh, we were open at 50% capacity a little bit earlier, but uh, with the changing guidelines, we were really excited. We wanted to get the doors open as soon as possible, as soon as it was, as it was safe to do so. And um, yeah, we've had people in playing cards, diners club, lots of activity. So it's been really great. So, so what you do is you support the seniors in North Grenville area. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So we provide um, Meals on Wheels, transportation, uh, robust programming around recreation and social so that people can, becomes the hub of activity for them uh, as they get older. And they can stay at home much longer. That's right, yeah. We've had feedback from some of our clients that um, their involvement with our organization has helped them remain at home longer. If it wasn't for us, one client said that they would uh, be in a retirement home. So for us, it's very rewarding to be able to make such a difference in their lives. Oh, that's awesome. Th th those are always nice stories to hear, for sure, for sure. So mm -hmm. let's talk about your first day open. How did it go? What was it like? How did it feel? We were, it, the excitement, you could feel the energy in the office. Um, our staff has been outstanding, just working through every changing restriction and, and you know, pivoting is the key word for these past couple of years. Uh, we've just been, we were very excited to open the doors and have people pre-register. Um, they're wearing masks, we're sanitizing, you know, we're following all the safety protocols, but it was really exciting. It was, and to be honest, it was a relief because that's, we're not used to being closed, right? Our doors are, are always open Monday to Friday. It, it's very much been a drop-in center for 40 years. So the past couple of years, we, you know, that was taken away from us. So we're really glad to be open. And when you say full capacity, how many people can come? So for our diners club, we're able to accommodate uh, 20 diners at one time. Um, same with Euchre, we're, we're operating at a maximum of about 20 in one main room and it's been going great. It, just to walk by a room and see up to 20 people yes. is like our new normal, right? Like you're, you're staying here going, this is the first time in two years that I've seen that many people here. So it's, it's pretty exciting. That, yeah, that in itself is so exciting just to see that many people and, and to be able to be one of the 20, that's mm -hmm. gotta be amazing for the people that you support. Yeah, absolutely. You know, to hear laughter and, yes. um, you know, getting caught up with a friend. Uh, one of our programs, Yak and Yarn, there's a bunch of uh, ladies sitting there making beautiful um, blankets and hats and mitts, socks, and they're just chattering away, but it's a real connecting activity, right? Like you're sitting there and you're and like just observing what's going on and you see there's such a energy in the room they're connecting, getting caught up. How's your family? How are things? So very much a, a lively, a lively place. And, and like we're, we're talking about a, your center opening up too. So we're moving forward too. We're going to be talking about events coming up and fundraisers and that sort of thing too. So you're trying to get a fundraising committee going? Yes, we've had a fundraising committee in the past and we're looking to have more members join us. Just people that would like to uh, add their ideas and um, interests to further the goals of the organization. We did some really great events last year, even though we were closed. We did some uh, neat events, uh, Soup and Go, where we had a number of potters donate uh, handmade pottery bowls, and we had a couple volunteers make this incredible soup. And we ended up having to change it. It was supposed to be a drive-in option to pick it up. Well, the restrictions had increased and we we're like, okay, we'll drop it off to your porch. And the volunteers just came together. So it, it's really exciting to be able to add some new fundraising volunteers to the committee. 
I think that was the last uh, uh, interview I did here about a fundraiser was the Soup and Go. Oh, I'm yes. I'm pretty sure yes. well, that was the last one, and then you guys had to pivot after that, too. And like you say, you delivered it. Yep, that's right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. So can you talk about, I know when I look at your, your Facebook page, there, there's so much, so many comments and, and, and uh, joyous comments, too, about your porch chats. What, what are those? Well, those are, those were the, um, they evolved from an inspiration that Jill Woodley, our marketing communication specialist had to connect with clients um, on the porch of their own home in the safe place. Um, because how do you enhance the visibility of an organization when you're closed, right? And things are so different and you're not able to do fundraising. So she came up with that creative way of enhancing the way we get our message out. So connecting with people at their homes outside, taking their photograph, and telling their story and how they connected the difference that seniors community services made uh, to them. And that's what you did during the, during the pandemic. So now you're open, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I needed to make mention of that because there were so many nice comments about your porch chat program that you were doing. Yeah. Now, oh yeah, it's been great. I wrote down here now the who, what, where of Senior Center Without Walls, S-C-U-W. Yes. So that's a telephone based program that was started as a result of COVID. It was a creative way that the program had been in existence, you know, throughout Canada, but specifically in our area, it was brought to seniors community services through a partnership with the good companions in Ottawa and Jennifer Graham had spearheaded running the program connecting seniors in their own homes by telephone okay. to a program where there's trivia there's name that tune there's a variety of activities or even presentations so it's really brought the programming to them instead of them having you know the inability to attend something in person right right okay awesome awesome now you're looking for volunteers still always we're looking always looking yeah definitely we have a robust number of volunteers but the needs are great especially with our transportation program um there's always medical drives needed just due to the fact that seniors, you know, they they're not driving anymore. Maybe right. they've given up their car and our volunteers are trained. They do a door to door drive and it's very economical. So we always, we always, always welcome volunteers for a transportation program uh, for fundraising committee work and just here in the center. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I, you know, I was more than pleased when I saw that you were open March 7th and uh, happy for you and happy for the people that you support that you, they got to meet in person again. So that's exciting news. Very, very. Yes. We're very happy and we're not going to be closed again, right? Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Where are you located, Don? Uh, 215 Saunders Street, just at the corner of Saunders and Maley Streets. And um, we're open Monday to Friday, 830 to 4. And how do people get a hold of you? You can give us a call at 258-3203, or you can visit us online at www.seniorscs.ca. Excellent, excellent. Well, I thank you very much for joining me today and talking more about the Seniors Community Services in Kempville. And they are open. Their doors are open. So I encourage everybody to take a look. Thanks for joining us. Don Roger, the Executive Director. Thank you.